Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's move. Flight boss, the Archangel Uriel. And Delo here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, I want to talk about tattoos. Now, tattoos. Now, before we even get into tattoos, this is what you need to understand. Anything that's involving with a sign or a sigil, a letter, even to a certain degree, a number. But a number is a higher frequency than a, a letter. But signs, these are channeling tools. You see what I'm saying? Because you can only understand all the signs and shapes. Listen, all your understanding, words, language, or whatever, the signs come from you and what's above you. That's the only way you know how to calculate anything. You see what I'm saying? So this is why it's important to know what's, what's around you, what's below you, what's above you, what's in your whole full 360 spectrum. And don't leave nothing out. Now, they make signs. Now, certain signs create certain frequency vibrations. You know what I'm saying? Based upon, and then, the higher the sign, where it don't, we ain't going to say higher or lower, but the, the sign itself comes from a specific location in space. This is how we get signs. This is how we know how to tell signs. This is the only reason we even came up with the concept of calculating, putting stars together. From the stars we can physically see. Drawing them lines together. You see what I'm saying? So when we talk about it create a letter or a shape or a sign or a form or whatever. That shape or form. It's in a specific location of space. Now, the filtering it takes to come down here is going to play out in many different shapes and forms. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have, say, religious symbols. You have the cross. Now, how does the cross make you feel? You see what I'm saying? Every time you see a cross, that's the frequency vibration that it is. So the frequency would be the idea of the cross, the, the left brain of it, how it was the shape of it, the, the logical reference of it, and, and all the, the logic behind it. Then the right brain will be the vibration of it. How does it make you feel? And what, how, how big of a source that's behind it or the oversoul. So you see what I'm saying? So you'll be in two realms. But that when you see that sign, that's when both of your brains go boom, 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 boom. And you pick up the energy. See, frequency vibration, then you pick up the energy from it. Once those the frequency vibration come together, the idea and then the vibe, the frequency and then the vibration of it, the feeling of it, once those two come together, that's when the energy is created. That's when you can see the source. That's when the physicality, what matters, become matter, and then it becomes solid. That is the light source. You have less dense solid shit here, like light and shit, but if you can see it physically and it take a physical effect, it's still in the physical realm. You see what I'm saying? You can go to my video about how the physical realm was created. From the less, most less distance, this aspect that you could think of. You see what I'm saying? Now, when we talk about as far as tattoos. So now that we know what signs is. We know what a sign is. So a tattoo is you. Let's take the name tattoo away from it. A sign you're just putting a sign on your body. You're permanently putting a sign on. Now, I don't have no tattoos. Now, I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing, but we're going to get into the science of this. But I just I just need you to understand what you're doing first. Now, you're putting a sign on your body. So, you're opening up you're opening up an actual astral gateway. So, you're you open up a gateway for that sign to always play itself out in some way shape or form in your life. You see what I'm saying? So this is why it's important to have tattoos that really mean something to you. And and it's very important not to be getting tattoos just to be getting tattoos because it's a fade right now. It's a, it's a phase. It's a maze. It's a day. A day. That's what a day is. A day is a maze. Something you've been slumped in. You see what I'm saying? And need to find your way out. That's why you always find your way. That's why you always find yourself trying to get information. Information. In Formation. We know a nation is a form of something. We know a group of things that come together creates a form. That's why I form, form nation, and it's in. So you have to go in that form. So anytime you try to find out something, you have to gain information about it. Because to find your way out, you have to go in that form of nations to to get out of it. You have to go in it to get out of it. That's what that's where the whole consciousness of information. And, and figuring out and finding out something came from. You see what I'm saying? So when you want to talk about tattoos, you open up you all you open up 
having a tattoo, having a sign on your body, you always channel that act wherever that location came from in in the in the astral realm. As above, so below, as within, so without. So you always have so and this is why it's important because this is how you know tattoos, aka signs, carry frequency vibrations. Because for an example, say you ain't never killed nobody or nothing like that though, but you 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 got a, a tear on your eye as a tattoo, right? So wherever you go, people are going to think you kill. People going to think you kill somebody or have something to do with that kind of energy or something like that. Even if you don't, because whoever initiated that put that in the world. So the person who initiated killing somebody and tat and having a tear a tattoo tear on them, it that original idea of it had a certain frequency vibration. So the person who actually killed somebody and came up with the idea like I should get a black teardrop because I killed somebody, all that energy. From them killing somebody and that, that shit that was on their mind when they did it. And then that idea that they came up with to do that and that they got that idea from. For them to do that. All that is packed and filled in that field. So when it goes out into the world. When that person a, a minute that imagination into the world. It started accumulating through many different people. And many different circumstances and situations. And, and through many different shapes forms. You see what I'm saying? You're just finding a form to take. That's all you're doing. But everything is a shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas. So when it when it's doing this, by the time it's doing that karma trial and it's taking the totality of the 360 of the realm of reality is in, it's accumulating all the particles and elements and all the things that's taking shape and form of the the situation that it's in. It's accumulating all these things and all these circumstances and situations, right? So now it got an energy signature. So the look of that energy signature will be the sign of it, the sigil. So Wherever that sign sigil go logically is where the energy is going to follow. It's where the vibration is going to follow. So once a person see it, it goes into their frequency, their spirit, their conscious. Once And then they, they start to pick up the feeling of it, the vibration, the fluid of it. They start to experience it. It's in their time now. And then now it mattered. So it became matter. Now it's solid. It's energy. Now, they, now a person received the energy of it. Oh, this feels like the energy of a person who might have killed somebody. Even if you didn't, just by you having that tattoo on your face, this is why it's important. Now, say you're a person who just, and this is why it's not a good or bad thing, but it can be a good or bad thing if you don't know what you're doing. Because if you if you are just getting tattoos based upon a trend or based upon because it just looked nice, you didn't really resonate with it or this, that, and third, then what's happening is then you're, you put a frequency vibration on you, you put a sign on you, that may not even resonate with your spirit. And you need to under, you need to understand this. Your your spirit, your conscious, your shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas, and whatever vessel it takes, which you're in this vessel right now, and you're in this dimension right now, right? This is this your body you built for yourself. You've been building a body, you've been building a brain from yourself, using the fluids and the elements or whatever realm of reality you in to become a body. So you've been getting bodies and bodies and bodies and been taking bodies and involving, right? Now, how you dress up your body. Is how your spirit, how your conscious likes to look. You see what I'm saying? It's like it's how your conscious likes to look. So the, the thing that's in this body, utilizing it, however it's doing it, and what it's doing it, and how it's doing it, and the way it's dressing the things, and, and what it's putting on itself, is how it wants to appear to be in the physical. You see what I'm saying? But it needs to understand that it's truly not this. And once it understands that, it won't be scared to death or anything like that. Because it will understand that. Based upon the experience I chose to come here to experience and things that I need to learn and things I need to evolve, I always know I'm going to a greater place. I'm going to a greater brain, a greater vessel, because that's the initial purpose, to get consciously aware of what you are in. So you can expand that conscious parameter and get in the, and get in the bigger vessel. And you don't want to go in lower vessels and, and be sent. You see what I'm saying? Now, as far as a tattoo, this is why it's important not to just get a tattoo based upon you liked it or not because now you're going to be experiencing circumstances and situations that your spirit don't even know why it's experiencing and that that tattoo that sign is going to open up a channel open up a stargate for all things to come into your life from where that energy vibration is originally from so in your life it's going to play out through shapes and forms and through people places and things as experiences that your spirit shouldn't even be experiencing but you have to experience it through the physical. You have to experience it through a shape or form. Because you manifested it 
from the from the spiritual. So now it's like you're going through these experiences and you're like, damn, you you might be going through you might be experiencing someone else's timeline. Someone else's energy. Experiencing shit you ain't even supposed to be experiencing. All cause you got that tattoo. See, so if you don't know what you're doing, don't be going into tattoos. Now, um, if you if uh now say you got a tattoo because you resonated with it. It's something you genuinely resonated with. You like like one of the first things people go get is their zodiac sign. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Like shit like that is cool. Or um or shit like your great your mother's name or your uh, ancestor name you or family member name who had died or uh, things of that nature. That shit is cool. Which is a science to that too. It's it's important not to kind of be trying to attach people who have ascended back to this realm because they they can remain remain as ghosts. Especially if they don't know what they're doing, but that's another video. But um, cause uh, me using ghosts, I already know where y'all mind is going. Well, some people minds, but my soul group knows what's going on. We, everything is a ghost. Fluid vibration, uh, fluid, all type of any form of fluid, plasma, ghosts, all that, all that theology came up under the vibration theology. You know what I'm saying? All that. You know what I'm saying? Even like the concept where scientists like to say everything is gas, liquid, solid. All that came from frequency, vibration, energy. So, and I can tell you where that came from, which you can go to my video, the, the spiral rotation, all that. And then, but that's another thing. Now, talking about as far as um, what was the fucking, what was the fucking, just talking about tattoos. Um, getting a tattoo that's something that resonate with you. Now, pay very close attention to that. Pay very close attention. Pay, like some girls get roses. Some girls like, you know what I'm saying? It got to really resonate with you. If it really resonate with you, and you like, man, I need to get a tattoo of that because I really like it. Not because, oh, everybody getting tattoos right now, so I got to fill in space. No, uh, I got to get that tattoo because I, I really like that. I really, you, it, it's in your heart. You will know when you resonate with something because sometimes humans get blinded between the right and left brain. Sometimes uh, an illusion or a phase or a fad or like something like a wave, a trend, sometimes you can get confused with thinking that's what you really want to do and you resonate with it too. You'd be like, damn, I really want that. It, it, it's like it'll put you in the same brainwave, in the same mind state to thinking that I resonate with that too. You know what I'm saying? So um, you got you to gotta be very consciously aware so you can understand, you know what I'm saying, the difference between the two, the difference between truly resonating and being absorbed by a wave, being absorbed by a trend. You got to really pay attention. But say it's something that really resonates with you. When you get the tattoo, you know what I'm saying, you probably won't even think about it till afterwards, after you already got the tattoo, if you if, if you genuinely resonate with something. Sometimes it, you won't even have a thought. You It'll be a day that your friend or somebody want to go get a tattoo, and you'll be like, fuck it, let's go get a tattoo. And then the thing that's just on your mind, you'll be like, all right, yeah, I want that. You know what I'm saying? It's something that you don't even really know why you got it, but you know you resonate with it. It, it ain't it ain't because someone else got it or someone else might. It, it was just something you would know in your heart when you resonate with something, even if it's just on spot. You know what I'm saying? So if you went with a friend, boom, then you get a tattoo and you really resonate with it. Pay very close attention to that because that sign is going to lead you back to an area in space and location that that you are familiar with. That you may have came from. Even if it's a rose, a bird, or whatever. Pay attention to what kind of bird it is. After the fact. Pay attention to what how the rose was put on you. What area on the body it was at. Pay attention to the feelings that you had when you came up with the idea of getting it. Pay attention to the idea of it in general. Do all your research and everything about all, anything that got to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Go within. Feel the expression. You gonna you gonna learn so much. You gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna learn you gonna learn that the sign, the actual tattoo that you have on you is something that you always been doing. Is it always been a part of you? And, and and it was it was just by universal law that you was gonna end up getting that tatted on your body. You gonna you gonna dive into that. And I can't really lead you into those realms of realities because I don't have no tattoos. But I can almost guarantee you that's how it's gonna be if it truly resonate with you. And then. If, it, if you did get a tattoo like that, you're going to experience, your spirit and your conscious is going to experience things in this realm of reality that it's supposed to, that it's supposed to experience. Things that lead you into experiences that you never experienced before that actually benefit you. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got some people, and not all people, but this, this is for an example. 
say you know people who get them crazy tattoos. The first person who get a like a bunch of stupid ass crazy tattoos and get all that crazy shit on their face and things of that name. But say they was the first to do that like that, right? They end up getting success for that shit. So whatever line of events that the the signs that they put on them channeled them to made made their physical walk into a realm of reality of success. You know what I'm saying? You will walk into a realm of reality of failure if you have a sign on you that you don't resonate with and you just got it because of you know because you was inspired by something or because because something outside of you inspired you. Everything outside of you gonna inspire you to a certain degree, but you have to resonate with it inside of you. And this is how you tell the difference. Will something expire will something inspire you outside of you externally? After a while, it fades. And then something else end up expiring. So this, and you will know that if you end up doing a trend, and then after the trend over, you look back at it like, damn, I can't believe I did that. People don't even do that no more. If you caught, if you a person who caught saying something like that, then you was caught in a wave. So you got many people who get who get tattoos caught in a wave. You get many people who do who do anything caught in waves. People do dances. People do certain music caught in waves. To the point that when they when they want to ascend, they look back and like, damn, I, I can't believe. You know what I'm saying? When you do something that you genuinely resonate, whether somebody else is doing it or not, it'll never go away. You will never feel different. It will always be with you. You see what I'm saying? It will always be there. You will never second think, look at it. You will, you, will, you will look at it like this. Man, it, it, it'll take you back to that time and place in your life. You'll look at it like, damn. I got this because this remind me of this. Like it's it'd be like a whole different vibe than you looking at it like it's silly. You having a vibration of looking at it like it's silly, or I don't know why I got this, or I may need to cover it up, or or even for you to have an idea later on in life, like oh it's just a tattoo, it don't mean nothing. For you to have that idea, your mind and went through some loops of knowing that you didn't got something on you that you ain't really resonate with. You know what I'm saying? But if it's something that truly you resonate with. It don't matter what period of life it is. You always gonna want to show it. You always gonna want to show people like, look, I got this because of this time and this when it was this. It's it's like it's in some way, shape, or form, it's always gonna be with you and it's always gonna direct you into a line of events that you was always supposed to experience. And the beings that come from that area in space got you. They got you. That was their way. That was their way of showing you like, or and that was your way of reminding you of who you are. You know what I'm saying? So that sign will act as a shield, too. It'll work as a shield sometimes. Because when you get in areas and locations that you may not know of or you may not have experienced before in the physical realm, just by you having that sign, right, you you are protected by the energy forces and the beings that that, that, that sign originated from. So if it's a sign you resonated from, you resonated with and you put that on your body, kudos. That's why I said it's good that when you do your zodiac sign or you do your ancestors or you do somebody who died in your family or you do like a family member or someone you got a deep bond with you see what i'm saying because you got forces that's with you those are ones you resonate those are ones you automatically resonate with you see what i'm saying so wherever they at especially if it's a person they that died they, they're in the realm where they may have more access than you have they may not know it but they may do it subconsciously based upon just the way they live their life in that realm. What they doing, what they're doing affects you, but what they, they may not be aware that what they're doing affects you because what they're doing, they're trying to pay attention to what they're affecting in their world, in their world. Same way you're trying to do whatever you're doing, you're trying to see how you affect in this world. But whatever you're doing, best believe you're responsible for something. Something is affected by your actions, and you can see that in every dimension, every realm of reality, based upon just the action that you do. Many things are affected. Believe that. So, many things, people, places, whatever, situations, organs, everything, and it plays out in so many ways. You know. So tattoos, yeah, be very careful uh, with making something permanently on your sh on your physical expression let's call this this let's call this that a physical expression of your conscious of your spirit and it, and your conscious awareness was was big enough to be able to take this vessel so appreciate that that you can inhabit into one of these vessels for lack of words
So, you know, this vessel that you take in is really not yours. The way the way you make it up and the, how you do it and the shapes and, and the shit that you put on, on your physical expression is basically just going to be representations of all the travels that you came from before you were, before you was in this vessel. So don't get lost in this vessel and get lost into the external that's outside this vessel and get lost into a trend to make you put a sign on you that that may not be a sign from your spirit group. You didn't got that sign from another person, place, or thing, spirit group. So you so you're gonna put you're gonna put you're gonna experience their experiences. And your spirit might not want to do that shit. Your spirit might put you in a circumstance or situation to make you feel like, goddamn, you need to cover that shit up. Cover it up with another tattoo. Something that resonate that you resonate with a little better that's closer to home. An astral realm. See? Flight boss, bitch. God damn. So all my all my soul group and all my people out there, be careful when it comes to tattoos. I'm not telling you it's a right or wrong. It ain't a right or wrong or anything. But once you got perspective and know what you're doing, you can do it effectively and not go through any experiences that you don't need to be experiencing right now. So if you got any tattoos right now, look at those motherfuckers. Look at the signs. Look, do your research on them. Understand them. Then go within. See how you resonate with it. See how it make you feel. Travel. Travel internally. See see where it take you. See see what it actually look like. Not just how it look like in this realm, but what's the actual oversaw or what's the actual shape or color or or the form that it actually is taken. And you can only do that when you're in the yin realm. You can only experience that with experience. And you're gonna see who, what, when, and where it is. Before you even got here, and then you're gonna and then you're gonna realize if this is something that's worthy of your shell or not. Flight boss, bitch. Goddamn. And